Hi, it's Bill Obley. You know, no matter what side of the Occupy Wall Street protest you're on, whether you're with the greedy or the needy, it does give one food for thought, which gave me the idea to celebrate the entire movement by making an Occupy Wall Street dinner. So, let's head downtown and occupy the table. In the shadow of Wall Street is my very own culinary tribute to Zuccotti Park. Now, in honor of the Occupy Wall Streeters, I've designed a table setting that's full of tents, tarps, signs, and of course, the dedicated demonstrators. Shh, they're sleeping. Changing the economic landscape is very hard work. Let's move on to some appetizers. Now, of course, all the high rollers on Wall Street will want plenty of blue chips. And as a nod to the former bull market, they'll be served with beluga caviar and creme fraiche. Next, as a salute to the man who may have started this whole thing off, these are Barney Franks. And finally, since the crowd here at Zuccotti Park is so different and diversified, this is a big bowl of mixed nuts. Oh look, there might be an acorn behind all this. Let's just move on to drinks. Now, because of all the shams and trickery that cause people so much hardship, we have champagne. Next, in honor of one of the founding failures of the financial debacle, this bar serves beer sterns. Served in plastic cups that look remarkably like New York City Parks Department trash cans. And finally, what Wall Street party would be complete without a market greeta? Ole. All right, time for entrees. Now, a lot of the demonstrators might go to McDonald's for dinner and order a Big Mac. But on Wall Street, you get the Freddy Mac, a towering example of gastronomic greed. And here's how it's made. Start with the bottom of a fresh brioche bun topped with sauteed baby spinach. Add one juicy medium rare five ounce filet mignon drizzled with a tangy tarragon bernet sauce. A second slice of brioche, another juicy filet, a dollop of sun-dried tomato pesto, and crown it with the top of the buttery brioche. Freddy Mac. Oh, and, and don't worry about this being too expensive. All the beef is subprime. For the next course, who doesn't love a nice piece of New York pizza? And here's how we serve it in Zuccotti Park. Hmm. That looks to be about a 1% slice. Well, anyway, if your pizza cotti isn't enough for you, you can always add some herbs and spices. And there's no shortage of herb in Zuccotti Park. Okay. Oh, that's mostly oregano. For the next course, we salute the unmistakable aroma that's emanating from Zuccotti Park and the mayor who tried to clean it up. This is Bloomberger cheese. And it comes with its own clothespin. Oh. You know, nothing tops off a long day of class warfare like dessert. And I'm calling this one Occupy. Oh, let's see what's at the bottom of this. Oh, not much really. Just a lot of fluff. But let's be honest, these days, who couldn't use a little more fluff? So, that's the meal. Or at least 99% of it. Boy, this is going to be a lot to clean up. You know, maybe I should have just thrown a simple tea party. Maybe not. So long.